Hi everyone, thank you guys for joining us on Friday. Happy Friday, it's almost the weekend. My name is Jessica and we are here with our Learning Safari Live. If you're joining us for the first time, we go live every Monday and Friday at noon Pacific Standard Time. And we introduce you to one, or today we have two, animal ambassadors that we have here at Pacific Animal Productions. As I said, if you're joining us for the first time, let me tell you a little bit about us. We are a wildlife outreach facility located in Fallbrook, California. So that's Southern California. And right now we have so many fun things going on, not just our Facebook Lives, but we also have our Paint Along series. So if you ever wanted to meet a sloth or a hedgehog or even an owl, check our website, pacificanimalproductions.com. And if you want to learn how to paint them too, we're doing that. And it's really, really fun. You get to meet a live animal. You get to learn how to paint them. And right now, when we're kind of hanging out in our houses, we're all looking for something fun to do and something new. So it's a really fun way virtually to connect with wildlife and connect with your artistic side as well. Also, uh, before we get started, we do have summer camp coming up. If you guys are missing summer camp and going to your summer camp that you usually go to for a week, we have brought one to you, again, right into your house virtually. And it is a full week, Monday through Friday, for about an hour and a half every morning. And we are uh, doing that from August 3rd through the 7th. So again, if you want to register for that, register your kids for that, um, you can go over to PacificAnimalProductions.com. And also after the program, we will put that in the comments and the show notes as well. So uh, be sure to check that out. We're so excited to be bringing that stuff to you guys. Also, last housekeeping thing, we are going live on Monday at 10 a.m. on Carlsbad City Library's Facebook page. We are so excited. We're taking over and we're bringing a full program. So not just one or two animals. We're going to bring a bunch of different animals and talk all about them. So be sure to check that out too. Set a reminder on your phone if you wanted some animals brought to you virtually. Okay, guys. So... You might have seen it. Uh, we are celebrating World Snake Day. There it is, World Snake Day. Now, today is not World Snake Day. It's actually yesterday, but yesterday was Thursday, and we go live on Fridays and Mondays. So today we're going to celebrate World Snake Day, and I'm so excited to be celebrating with you. And that's because I love snakes. Oh, I almost forgot. One of my favorite parts about going live is your questions and your comments. So be sure to let us know you're here. Let us know where you're watching from. We have had people from all over the world, literally the world. We've had people from India and Africa. Um, and so we want to know way, where you're watching from. So let us know you're here. Say hi. And, of course, any questions you guys have. Now, as I said, we're celebrating World Snake Day. And before you get too freaked out and turn our Learning Safari Live off because you're not a fan of snakes, I brought two smaller snakes today. So there's nothing to fear. Um, and we're going to talk to you guys a little bit why, about why snakes are important. As I said, snakes are one of my favorite animals to talk about because I think they're so misunderstood and they're one of my favorite animals just in general. So today we're gonna start with my first buddy and his name is Achilles. Now Achilles will probably look pretty familiar to you guys. This is a pretty well-known type of snake. Here he is. This is a ball python. Let me see if he'll show you. There we go, that beautiful face. Now this is a ball python, and as I said, people probably have seen these before. They're pretty popular, especially as a pet. People have them as pets a lot. Now one thing I do like to mention, because again, this is a popular type of pet, is that snakes and all reptiles can be pretty difficult to take care of. Sometimes people think, they might be a great starter pet for your kid, um, but I always tell people actually they take a lot more uh, uh, care or require a lot more care than people might think. So um, very important for all reptiles like snakes to get the right humidity, the right heat, and it's also important to remember that they're pretty smart. So it's important to give them some enrichment too, just like playing fetch with your dog. Um, giving them new hides and things to crawl over is important as well. Now, ball pythons typically come from Africa, so they're not always a pet. They're also found in Africa, and they get their name, the ball python, because they're often found curled up like a ball. And you'll also see that they're pretty thick, so when they do curl up, they curl up nice and thick. They also have that beautiful coloring to help them to camouflage. Of course, all snakes want to camouflage and blend in uh, to their environment. So this coloring is definitely going to help them blend in to the ground where they live. Now, as we said, people are sometimes afraid of snakes. If you're afraid of snakes, 
you can put it in the comments. Let us know. Maybe tell us why, because I always want to understand why these uh, very interesting creatures are so scary to some people. Maybe it's because they don't have legs. Maybe it's because they slither around. But I think it's because a lot of times people think that snakes are more prone to biting than other types of animals. And I always think that's so silly because really snakes are an animal that really don't want to be seen by us. So maybe if they were scared or threatened, they would want to use their teeth because they do have teeth in that little mouth so that they can protect themselves. But remember, they don't have any arms, they don't have any legs. They can't really grab or um, protect themselves with anything else. So they need to be able to use that mouth if they need to. So what I always tell people is if you do see a snake, always, a, if it's a native snake, I should say, Definitely leave it be. It has a very important job to do out in its habitat. So these snakes are population control. Snakes are strictly carnivores. So you might find snakes that might eat eggs from time to time, which is pretty cool. Um, but for the most part, they're going to be eating things like small mice and pests. So, oh, there we go. He's going to say hi to you guys. So he uh, is going to be a really important part of an environment because he is going to be population control. Getting rid of the things that might cause disease and bacteria in our environment and keeping everything in balance. Remember, it's important uh, that all animals do their job. They each have a job to do every single day, and typically it's by eating what they eat or sleeping where they sleep, uh, or sometimes if it's like a gopher tortoise or something cool like that, check out our episode where we talked about gopher tortoises. They're awesome. It could even be making a burrow or making a home where they make a home. So a snake's job is making sure everything stays perfectly in balance. Even though they might seem a little bit scary to you or maybe a little bit... Um, I don't know, foreign, if you've never uh, had the chance to interact with one, they do have an important job to do. And uh, yeah, they're an important part of our ecosystem. OK, this next friend is another snake that we haven't introduced on uh, our Facebook Lives yet. But I'm really excited to be introducing him to you guys. So this is a coach whip snake. And you may notice he's going to move a lot different than our ball python. So our ball python is a little bit thicker, and this guy is super slender, and you'll notice he moves pretty quick. Now that's not him being aggressive or anything, that's just the way that coach whips move. They have this uh, very slender, skinny body, and they're made to be quick. So if you see them kind of jerk around a little bit, that's just what coach whips do. Again, it can be a little bit intimidating if you are not familiar with snakes or you've never handled one, but once you kind of learn that they all move a little bit differently and you get kind of used to them, no problem at all. You'll also notice that he's got, let me show you, see that really skinny part? That's his tail. So he has a really, really slender, skinny tail too. Jen is here with me in the studio today, trainer Jen. Jen, do we have any questions or comments coming in? Um, we have a bunch of people watching. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Bayless says hello. Hi, Jennifer. Ryan loves snakes, snake emoji, snake emoji, snake emoji. Woohoo! Um, Oh my goodness. Hi guys. Thanks for watching. I'm so happy. It makes me so, so happy when people love snakes like I do. And hopefully after everyone watching watches this today, they'll love snakes a little bit too. And even if you don't love them, at least we can appreciate them and their role in the environment. Now, uh, Elena was watching from Chula Vista, so I think we've got some California friends watching. Here in California, we have gopher snakes, we have racer snakes, um, we have definitely rattlesnakes, and usually that freaks people out. So let's talk a little bit about venom, because I think that's another reason why people are very intimidated by snakes, because they can be venomous, and venom can definitely not be so good on humans and dogs and cats and people's pets that they love. So uh, snakes are either constrictors, which means they give their prey a big, great big squeeze, like our coach whip, or they can be venomous. So um, there's not really any poisonous snakes. Poisonous is ingested, or poison is ingested, and venom is injected with those fangs that they might have. Now, venom actually plays a very important role in our world, too, um, because not only does it help those snakes to protect themselves and to catch their prey, but actually, scientists and researchers and very, very smart people are able to use venom for their medicinal properties, too. So um, there are many different um, diseases that people are doing research for and curing uh, and creating solutions for using snake venom. So actually, even though, again, it can be scary to us, it still has a role in our environment and is really important. 
Now those rattlesnakes that might be in your yard, again, they can be a little scary because they do have venom, but as we said, they have a role. So I always tell people, if you see one, consider yourself very lucky. Maybe call Snake Relocation Service because they can put them out somewhere where they're further away from people safely um, and they know how to handle them without injuring the snake. And I think it's really, really important that we keep those snakes in our environment, again, to keep everything perfectly in balance. Oh, that's a great question. So my favorite snake is called an eastern indigo snake. And if you're a reptile person, you've probably heard of them before. We actually don't have any here at Pacific Animal Productions, um, but they are a beautiful type of snake that's native to southeast uh, United States. They are black. They're super long. I believe they're the longest snake in the United States, getting to be about seven feet. And um, they're really, really cool. I've had the opportunity to hold one once, and it was awesome for me. I really enjoyed it. So that's definitely my favorite favorite type of snake here, uh, or in general. My favorite snake at um, Pacific Animal Productions is probably this little one. He's super curious, and when we do give him new enrichments and hides in his enclosure, um, he is very quickly slithering all throughout them. So he's got a little personality, and I like that a lot. Thank you for asking. Now you guys, as you know, uh, we have worksheets and activities that go along with all of our Learning Safari Lives. And today we have a very special one. There we go, our search and find. Um, so we made a little picture for you guys and you have to find all of the cool snakes throughout the photo. And you can even color it in too. So if you wanted to download that, you can go to our website, pacificanimalproductions.com uh, under our kids corner. That's where we have our activities and you can download those. Before we sign off, again, I want to remind you guys about our summer camp coming up in August. Be sure to sign up for that. Again, we're going to put the link uh, in the description of the video. We also have our Paint Along series. Our next one is Paint Along with Poppy the Hedgehog. If you guys are more fans of cute, cuddly animals, that's going to be the perfect thing for you. You can learn how to do some crafts and meet some hedgehogs along the way, too. So you guys, I am so happy that you guys uh, celebrated World Snake Day with me. I hope you guys love snakes as much as I do now. Please continue asking your questions. We'll continue to answer them. And if you wanted to learn more about us, visit PacificAnimalProductions.com. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great, great weekend. Let's keep learning alive, you guys. Bye.